here are books that I genuinely love. The first one is George Orwell's essays. George Orwell, we have the adjective Orwellian and we associate it with 1984 and Animal Farm, but that is not what George Orwell is about. All of these essays bring a new perspective on delectation uh, and express a great enthusiasm in life, which we don't, I think, unfairly associate with the word Orwellian. The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie by Muriel Spark. Wonderful account of Edinburgh, of childhood, of the ambivalence of the lives of school children, especially girls. D.H. Lawrence, Women in Love, a breakthrough book for, for him where he began to do something completely different from what he was doing in Sons and Lovers, which is a marvelous book, but he decided to try something else, bring in in his portrait of life, a, a degree of unevenness even. He had written Sons and Lovers with great mastery. Now he was eschewing that mastery to open himself out into a time which is around 1918 or so, England destroyed by the world and according to Lawrence, human life having moved from an older phase into a new one. Teju Kol, Open City, this is a recent book by the standards of the books I've been talking about so far uh, and it shows us a Nigerian without making too much of that fact walking through New York so it's a book about walking it's a book about how we can respond to cities wherever we are from with this kind of inquiring ambivalent cosmopolitan sensibility that we don't necessarily have to always be looking at a western city in terms of us being non-Western. The last one, Virginia Woolf, Moments of Being, she was a great essayist and besides her gender, the other things that preoccupied her to do with what she called moments of being, the moment, the moment in which life opens out into its, into realizing, into us seeing again in a transient way the value of what surrounds us, often the everyday which we do not notice.